guys, doing another hired request. This is I Won't Hold You Back by Toto. things I need to add on the repeat. Uh, but we'll get started on this. Um, hello, I'm Sean Cheek. Welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. The rest of this song is on my website, webpianoteacher.com. This is the way I make a, a meager living. So <laughs> if you want the rest of this, just go to webpianoteacher.com and become a member. I've given you the free part one here on YouTube. If you'd like to hire me to do a request for you, follow me on Facebook. Just do a Facebook search for webpianoteacher.com. I'm also on Twitter. My name is Web Piano Teacher. Enough of that. Let's get to the, the part one here. Okay, first we're going to start up high. And we're going to have E flat above middle C. And then B flat above that. And then E flat above that. Okay, now the right hand is going to have a B flat up here and then an F with that, but you're going to flip that F to G really quick. You're going to play these together, but very quickly go to G. See how quickly I do that to, from my thumb to my first finger, or my, my uh, second finger? Like that. Alright, so you play this together and you flip that F to G really quickly. Alright, and the next thing is, which is just D, F, and B flat together. Left hand's on a B flat right below that. And it's just straight, one, two, three, four. Half note, half note. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to have... It's going to be a C minor 7 chord. C, E flat, G with a B flat on top. Okay? Left hand is going to have a middle C with that. So play those together. And the left hand will come in with G, B flat, C. And these are eighth notes. One and two. Have a broken chord, it's good to go ahead and get your fingers in position so you can feel that chord under your fingers in your hand. You feel the chord even though you're rolling it, so it doesn't feel you know just like one note, then the next note, you, you feel a group there. And then D, E flat, B flat, D. So ba 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 ba, straight eighth notes. Let's do the first, let's start at the beginning and go as far as we've gone to get the rhythm. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, and four, and. Now we want to continue to hold that D. Uh, even though we change the pedal, we clear the pedal, the damper pedal, sustain pedal. Alright, so hold that D over. I'm going to run up and get my marker here in a minute. So you won't see me for about 10 seconds. <laughs> but let's go ahead and finish this measure here. G, uh, up to D, and then up to B flat. Okay? Now that's quite a stretch, but you don't have to reach it. Just pivot on that pointer finger. Okay? Pivot. Reminds me of that Friends episode where Ross is going, Pivot! <laughs> you watch Friends. Alright, G, D, B, and then the right hand's going to come in, D, B flat, up here high, a sixth from bottom to top, and then we're going to have C, A, and then finally B flat, G. Okay, so it's one and two, ba, 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 see how you hold each one, da, 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 hold, da, hold, so one and two. On the repeat, you're going to do something a little bit different. You're going to add something. Oh, I have a marker right here. I don't have to run to the kitchen. It's going to be green. Hope that doesn't bother you. Uh, maybe that'll be better because it'll be a different color and you'll notice it's only on the second time. Um, and actually, on the second board, I wrote what we're doing here, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show you on the first board. Alright, 
we're going to add a little bit. <clears throat> okay, so the second time through, we come down an octave, so we're not going to play it up here, we're going to play it in this area. also be what we do on the verse, at least for part of it. Uh, so this is very important. So you guys that are members, when you go to lesson two, just remember, keep this board handy because we're going to be using it. Um, <clears throat> so what we do is we come down an octave, we play E flat, B flat, E flat again with uh, F and B flat, flip it to G. Okay, so we're not up here, we're here now the second time through. That's why I have a repeat sign there. Okay, so this is still the intro. The singing has not started yet. Okay, now this time, we're going to play this again, but we're going to add a B flat. We're going to keep the E flat on the pinky. So instead of it being like that, it's going to be with an E flat. So we have one, two, three, four. Now right here, we're going to fill it out by adding an octave. So not just a single C, a C on the pinky as well. So, and then G. Which is just what you played right here. Okay, so it's one and two, ba, ba, D, B flat, C, A, D, B flat. Now, on the intro, it stops here. That's why I have a little dotted line there. Because the intro, on the, in the intro, just for this one time, for some reason, the piano stops. So, C, A, and then it holds. And then we start this, the verse with the singing. Okay? But later on, when we do the verse some more, um, you're going to play all of this. D, B flat tail, the left hand comes in the middle. C, A, ba, ba, B flat, G, ba, ba. Okay? So that's what we're going to be doing uh, during the verse. So, here's the whole intro to the song. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, one. for the verse, at least for the first part of it. Uh, and we'll play all of this during the verse, so it'll be... Alright? And you'll have... forgot one more here. And I, I was going to explain this on the second board anyway, but just felt like doing it now. There you go. Alright, see you guys on part two on the website. Hope you enjoy it.